January 1st, 2022. Solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Holy Mother of God, and the Feast of the Circumcision of Our Lord, and the Octave of Christmas. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I am the Lord thy God. My sovereignty is over heaven and earth and the whole universe, which man does not know. In me is all truth. Mankind must obey my commandments in order to share heaven with me. There is no compromise to this truth. I speak here today not to predict, but to foretell. If man continues to challenge the truth of my commandments in all walks of life, entertainment, fashions, the illicit use of technology, money markets, and more, I must visit earth with my justice, my wrath. Do not live as though tomorrow will be the same as today. Time, which does not exist in heaven, is both friend and enemy. Use it as an instrument of good. Then I will not find you in error when you are judged. Offer to me your coexistence with disease, germ warfare notwithstanding. Always follow the path most beneficial to your own salvation. Trust in the light of my mercy. Forgive one another as forgiveness is the forebearer of a better future. The tasty fruit of forgiveness is peace. Leave selfish motives behind. Live for the welfare of one another. Then my blessing will rest upon you. A note is given to read Psalm 24, 1 through 6. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 2nd, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, today as the new year is beginning, empty your hearts of all unforgiveness, all self-ambition, and all that is untrue. Begin anew to structure your spirituality in holy love. Do not seek man's approval over and above my approval. Let your every priority be to please me first and foremost. Change anything in your life which opposes this goal. See everything as it relates to pleasing me. Center your hearts on this goal. This is the way to die to self and all materialism, and to work only towards your own salvation by pleasing me. As you try to accomplish this goal, your prayers will be more powerful. Your hearts will be more at peace. The earthly priorities you held precious in your hearts will gradually take on less importance. You will more clearly see the direction your soul is following in truth. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, 21 through 22. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God 
and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. Another note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 3rd, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, remove the fetters from your hearts. Worldly attachments, worries, unforgiveness, anger. And allow me to fill your hearts with the grace I desire you to have. Then you will be able to pray from the heart. I am always ready to assist you in this holy endeavor, as is your angel. Develop a friendly relationship with your angel by asking his assistance in your needs. He stands ready to help. He intercedes for you before my throne in heaven. When your heart is besieged with worldly concerns, it is important to remember that your angel wants to help you. His intercession is very powerful. Find ways of little sacrifices as chances to thank your angel. A note is given to read Exodus chapter 23, 20 through 21. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Give heed to him and hearken to his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 4th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Belief in these messages should make a difference in your daily lives. Belief is more than just curiosity as to what I say every day. Belief dictates that you live the messages. When you live the messages, it follows that you desire to propagate the messages to your fellow man. Living these messages should make a difference in your life and in the world around you. These messages are meant to change the world, one heart at a time. Sin begins in the heart, when evil is accepted in the heart. Then, the sin is spread to the world outside and around the heart. This is how wars and untruths are spread. So, I speak to you once again today to change the heart of the world through belief in holy love. What you believe can make a difference all around you. A note is given to read Galatians chapter 6, 7 through 10. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all men, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 5th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. 
He says, Children, I desire that you fall deeply in love with me, so in love that your whole existence is to please me, so in love with me that even the smallest sin seems like an abomination. Souls such as these do not spend a length of time in purgatory. You can find such love in getting to know me better. Read the scriptures. Read these messages. Discover the truth that I desire only your welfare. Allow this truth to transform your hearts and your lives. Then you will know that I am beside you, lovingly guiding you and listening to your prayers. A note is given to read Psalm 4, 2 through 3. O sons of men, how long will you be dull of heart? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Another note is given to read Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 6th, 2022, the Feast of the Epiphany. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, when you arise in the morning, place in your heart a special intention. That way all your prayers and sacrifices throughout the day will settle on that one intention. You will not have to recall it at every opportunity. Surrender this petition to my divine will at the beginning of each day. Accept my will, for in your acceptance is your surrender. This way you will find joy in prayer and sacrifice. Believe in my intervention, which is one with my will. Sometimes my will is your acceptance of a cross. This alone is a great grace. I wish to walk with you during each moment of every day, matching step for step, understanding your challenges and comforting you in times of trial and doubt. Allow me to do so by desiring it. A note is given to read Psalm 4, 1 through 3. Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You have given me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me, and hear my prayer, O sons of men. How long will you be dull of heart? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Another note is given to read Psalm 8, 3 through 9. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have established, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 7th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, 
children, I invite you to realize that my love and my mercy are one. Neither exists without the other. Just as my mercy is from age to age, so too is my love. No generation has or will exist without my love and my mercy. Each present moment is created for the sinner to realize this, to respond to my love and mercy by obedience to my commandments, which is my will. Answer my call to live in my love and to receive my mercy. How I long for all mankind to live in such a way. My love and mercy know no bounds and span the abyss between heaven and earth. If all would respond to my love and my mercy, heaven and earth would be reconciled. All scripture is my love and my mercy. January 8th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, today I invite you to ask my help in surrendering completely to my will for you. This is the path of spiritual strength. This surrender means you accept with dignity whatever happens in the present moment as from my heart, for my reasons. While on earth you may never discover my reasons for certain issues in your life, this is when you must pray to trust in me. There are always necessities for the offering of your sacrifices. Most often, you do not see them in this life and do not understand my reasons. Trust that I use every sacrifice towards the welfare of souls. When you reach heaven, the souls you helped save will celebrate with you. Some souls are not spiritually deep enough to even recognize that they need help. This is how the depth of your own spirituality is put to use for others. Trust that no sacrifice is wasted. A note is given to read Psalm 4, verse 5. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. January 9th. 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, I am pleased to send my son to you one week after Easter Sunday on the Feast of Divine Mercy. My son will give you the public message. I will impart to you my triple blessing. Prepare with much prayer and sacrifices. Bring to me your petitions in your hearts. Daily, reserve a place for me in your hearts until such time as this next special prayer day. I will bless your efforts. A note is given to read Philippians chapter 2, 14 through 18. Do all things without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. January 10th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Today, my messenger, as you prayed, many distractions were sent to you by Satan to destroy your peace. Lack of heat, general power failures, other minor interruptions. All of this bears witness to how much the evil one detests your prayers. 
When you are able to pray from the heart, there is no greater power on earth to be connected to. My divine intercession is greater than any force of nature or tactic of Satan. This fact was proven at the resurrection. When these difficulties occur, it is a test of your trust in this truth. Please know that I am always present to the soul who is in the state of grace. It is then, when help comes to you unexpectedly, that you can see my hand of power. Difficulties are the grace that offers the opportunity to trust. January 11th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, When you have many distractions, employ the help of your guardian angel to stand guard over the present moment. Do not allow the present to slip past you unprotected, for it will never return. It is Satan's job to grab present moment graces from you, thereby weakening you spiritually. Some do not understand the actions of evil in the world today. That, in itself, makes them very vulnerable to attack. You cannot combat the enemy that you do not see. As children of light, it is your job to expose evil for what it is. This is discernment. This should be an underlying base of your spirituality, but not the focus. Trust in my protection and provision, always and everywhere. A note is given to read Psalm 5, 11 through 12. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice, them ever sing for joy, and do in them, that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord, you will cover him with favor as with a shield. Another note is given to read Exodus chapter 23, 20 through 21. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Give heed to him and hearken to his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 13th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, in order to recognize Satan's activity in your life, you must be close to my commandments. Everything Satan is about is in opposition to my commandments. His suggestions and activities in your life are generally masked in something that appeals to you. Underneath his seemingly innocent suggestions lies his real purpose, his evil plans. If you do not exercise discernment, you will not see his evil plots in your life. Satan's most effective weapon is to convince people that he does not exist, or that if he does exist, he certainly isn't influencing them. Let me assure you that the evil one is concerned with destroying each soul's salvation. Do not be so naive that you do not comprehend this. Satan works in hidden ways to withhold salvation from everyone. His own salvation is lost. He consequently wants no soul to be saved. If you comprehend this, You have accepted a strong weapon against Satan. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 6, 10 through 17. Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. 
Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having fastened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Besides all these, taking the shield of faith, with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 14th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, keep me foremost in your thoughts, words, and actions. This is the way to please me. Do not allow your hearts to be troubled by anything that my grace can solve in an instant. Once I act in your behalf, you will look back and see all the time you wasted in worry. This all goes back to trusting in my grace, which is always with you. No circumstance happens to you outside of my divine will. I am with you no matter the crisis. I do not allow anything to happen in your life that you and I cannot handle together. Allow me my space to show you this. When trust governs your heart, fear leaves. So long as you are living in a way which pleases me, do not fear what others think. It is what I think that counts. Do not strive for earthly wisdom, but for love of me. A note is given to read Romans chapter 8, verse 28. We know that in everything God works for good with those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. January 15th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, it is not enough to commit to living in holy love when you arise in the morning. You must make this commitment off and on throughout the day. In this way, whenever you need to make choices or settle upon a decision, you will decide for holy love. This is how to be a child of God. This is how to live the victory in the present moment. If you live in this way, you will be a child of light in an age of darkness. Then I will use you as a ready instrument on my behalf. You will be committed to living in my divine will. I will be able to trust in your decisions in any given situation or present moment. All around you are the distractions of the world, which lead you away from holy love. The deeper your commitment to holy love, the harder it is for Satan to distract you. Be assured of my assistance in your efforts to live in holy love. You will always find me at your side and in your heart. A note is given to read Galatians chapter 6, 7 through 10. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. 
So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all men, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 16th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, I come to you still again to encourage you to stay upon the spiritual path of holy love. So many lose their way due to lack of interest or distractions. Never be self-satisfied in your quest to attain personal holiness. Continue to move forward and deeper into the united hearts. Much of this determination to become more holy has to do with how you spend your spare time. Form good habits in this regard, such as praying more, learning more about the lives of the saints, or engaging in some charitable work. This way, Satan will be unable to gain a foothold in your daily routine. This involves a resolve to be more holy, which is an ongoing effort. Do not miss the opportunity to offer new sacrifices, especially for the poor souls. They will, in turn and in gratitude, help you on your spiritual journey. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 2, 28-29. And now, little children, abide in him, so that when he appears we may have confidence and not shrink from him in shame at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who does right is born of him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 17th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, the snow is covering the ground now, hiding the terrain beneath it. Do not allow a false conscience to hide the truth of the status of your soul before me. I see every fault, all doubts and unforgiveness, with one glance when I look at you. I desire you look with the eyes of truth as to the way I see you. That way, you will not trip up as to what your faults and failings are. You will walk easily and steadily along the path of true self-knowledge. A note is given to read 1 Timothy chapter 4, 7-8. through 8. Have nothing to do with godless and silly myths. Train yourself in godliness, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 18th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Every present moment carries with it its own unique grace given as a means of salvation. This is important to remember, especially in times of suffering. No cross is permitted by me apart from the matching grace to assist in perseverance. It is important to look for this grace and to realize that I am with you despite every difficulty. I send others into your life when you need help. I use your acceptance of each cross to guide others to salvation. I use your crosses to draw sinners to repentance. No soul escapes the cross, for the cross is a means of salvation. Therefore, see your crosses as a sign that I am calling you towards heaven. Be assured 
that my hand is upon you when you suffer. A note is given to read 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 3 through 6. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort, too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 19th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, let this be the present moment when you strive for perfection in holiness. Do not squander the present on frivolous activity. The present moment, once spent, will never return to you. I send to earth such remarkable graces through the hands of the Holy Mother. Look for them. Get to know them. It is then you will exist in the hearts of Jesus and Mary and in my holy will. When you are not at peace, you are not embracing my divine will. You are not accepting what I send to you on your journey towards perfection. When you are perfected in holiness, no cross is too heavy. Your burdens are challenges which you meet with strength in holiness. There are many who want to be more holy, but who put it off. This is tempting fate. Make each present moment valuable by striving for perfection in it. A note is given to read Galatians chapter 6, 7 through 10. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all men, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 20th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, in these days and this generation, you are distracted in many ways from the path of salvation. There are many false gods in the world, not the least of which is consumerism. Modern technology promotes this God through the media and in every sort of pastime. So today, I ask you to redirect your focus of activity. Things of the world should not compete with the attention you give to your spirituality. It is difficult to focus on my commandments, scripture, and avoidance of sin in your lives when all around you is the world and its pleasures. In your hearts must be the desire to earn your salvation. Many people die suddenly without the chance to change the direction of their appetites. So today, take to heart my warning to you. Make your salvation the center of your daily lives. Be conscious of the choices you make moment to moment. Try to please me. Ask your angels to assist you 
in your decisions. When you live this way, I am in the midst of your heart. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Another note is given to read Exodus chapter 23, 20 through 21. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Give heed to him and hearken to his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 21st, 2022, the Feast of Mary, Protectress of the Faith, 36th Anniversary. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Behold, one season passes into another. Change is inevitable, and yet all things remain the same. I sent the Holy Mother to earth decades ago under the title Protectress of the Faith. The powers that be in the Church did not bend in order to approve this title. They deemed it unnecessary. So here we are, years later. The Holy Mother was not given the right to protect the faith. Instead, Satan moved freely in and amongst Church circles, seemingly unrecognized, doing his damage through doubts and innuendos. Slander follows slander, but I have embraced those who persevere. Today, I urge you in your hearts to ask the Holy Mother to protect your faith. You do not need any approval to do that. She will come at your bidding to ward off doubts and confusion and to bring you deeper into the faith. This is what everyone needs during these times. A note is given to read Psalm 5, 11 through 12. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. And do defend them, that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover him with favor as with a shield. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 22, 2022, the National Sanctity of Human Life Day. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, today I invite you to persevere in the face of adversity. The world discounts religion as unnecessary and even superstitious. But I invite you to remember that in Noah's day it was much the same. In those days all that mattered was the tangible, material aspect of life. Isn't that how it is today? When people count their blessings, they do not count their relationship with me as a treasure on earth. Yet I tell you, that is all that matters in the end. Most people spend their lives trying to amass fortunes that lead to a comfortable existence on earth. In reality, each soul must store up a fortune of graces that will await him in heaven. The best way is to live in holy love, which dictates a life of self-sacrifice. The fortunate soul is the one who lives his life to please others and places himself last. Today's society counts such an attitude 
as folly. The commandment to love me above all else is not a consideration today. In holy love, you need to place this commandment as your goal in life. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 23rd, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, As you witness the snow falling today, remember that I make no two snowflakes alike. In the same line of thinking, I make no two people alike. Even identical twins are different in my eyes. Then, of course, remember that it is the choices the person makes that differentiate their souls at the time of their judgment. These choices are what counts, not any physical attribute. Clothe your souls in the truth. This is the way to please me. If you live in the truth, you will present your souls in pure beauty at your judgment. Do not allow compromise to come into your heart. The netherworld is filled with souls whose opinions were more important to them than the truth. Be wise in following my commandments, for they are the truth. Every soul is judged according to his obedience to my commandments, his willingness to know them and to love them. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, 21 through 22. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God, and we receive from Him whatever we ask, because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 24th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Sometimes there is so much spiritual stress in your world that you must make a moment-by-moment -moment decision to follow the path of righteousness and live in holy love. I understand this. The distraction most unrecognized in your moment-to-moment -moment choices is unforgiveness. Oftentimes, the soul thinks he has forgiven all people that influenced his life, when in reality he carries grudges in his heart. These grudges affect his personal holiness, most especially if he does not recognize them. Make the effort to forgive those who bring bad memories to your heart. Ask the Holy Mother for her help. She, after all, had many people to forgive in her life. She is waiting for you to ask. Once you forgive everyone, there is a clear path of grace between your heart and mine. Do not allow bad memories to stand in the way of a deeper relationship with me. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 12 through 15. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience, forbearing one another, and, if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. 
as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 25th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, do not listen to any discouragement in your prayer lives. That is all from Satan. Except whatever effect your prayers have on people or circumstances in the world, remembering that free will often holds sway over the response to your prayers. When my will is thwarted, I do not abandon you. I am still listening to your prayer petitions. You are on the right track so long as you hold family first and extended family second. If you do this, all else will fall into place. Pay attention as to what or who comes against your priorities in this regard and act responsibly to come against where your loyalties must be. Persevere in prayer as a family and your course of action will be made clear. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 15 through 17. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 26th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, today I tell you, I am most grieved when those who are devoted to the holy love messages do not live in holy love. They do not treat each other with respect which comes from a loving heart. They do not practice patience. Some only look for negatives in others. These poor souls always expect their environment to please themselves and do not attempt to be patient with their environment. What most grieves my mournful heart is that they do not see their own faults in an attempt to advance in holy love. I can do nothing more than to refer such as these to the messages which call souls to purification in holy love. In truth, souls need to examine their own conscience daily to discover ways in which they can improve. I am calling souls to live in the truth of holy love. A note is given to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 13 through 15. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren beloved by the Lord, because God chose you from the beginning to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 27th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. 
He says, Children, when you have a special petition in your heart, pray to the poor souls in purgatory. There is a whole army of souls down there ready to help you. Their prayers are powerful. If you help them, they are especially anxious to help you. These souls cannot help themselves, so they are so thankful for your prayers and sacrifices towards their advancement in the prison of purgatory. The ones who are released by your efforts are so indebted to you and especially full of gratitude. They will be your prayer partners forever. Do not miss any opportunity to help them. They will not miss any opportunity to assist you. These souls are your neighbors as well. A note is given to read Galatians chapter 5, 13 through 14. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. But through love, be servants of one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 28th, 2022, the Feast of St. Thomas Aquinas. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Little children, when my will is most difficult for you, recall the life of the Blessed Mother. Her yes to my will meant she would face disgrace. Moreover, she was not able to logically explain what was happening to her. She had to just keep saying yes over and over in her heart. When life is most difficult, imitate the Holy Virgin's resolve to live in my holy and divine will. Her yes affected every generation and opened the gates of heaven to all people. Your yes to my will may seem insignificant to Mary's fiat, but to me it is the same premise of obedience. When you choose me in obedience, I choose you as my instrument of grace. Note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 15 through 17. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 29th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, from heaven I see how ambition and greed are the tools Satan is using in the world today to promote unrest. It is most evident these days in the Ukraine, but is visible all over the world. These are the tools every evil spirit uses in individual souls to foster unrest in human relationships. This is only one cause of divorce, which is rising in popularity. When you pray, pray for the victory of truth in every heart. In this way, Satan is exposed and brought into the light. This light brings with it peace everywhere it is made visible. A note is given to read 1 Peter chapter 1, 22-23. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere love of the brethren, 
love one another earnestly from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. Another note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 6 through 10. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for it is because of these things that the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore do not associate with them, for once you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 30th, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Today I would like you, my children, to realize the advantages of self-abandonment. The soul who practices self-surrender does not want everything his own way. He is willing to listen to the reasons people do what they do patiently and without convicting them of wrongdoing, but accepting them as they are. He does not see everything in life as to how it affects him personally. He is able to lose himself in my will and to accept my will even when problems arise. Self-abandonment gives up control of every present moment. Such a soul is able to effectively trust me in the face of difficulties and therefore is at peace. His crosses are mitigated by this self-surrender as he is not bent on changing things his own way. This self-abandonment takes much prayer. It is not human nature to give up free will in favor of my divine will. This self-abandonment defeats Satan in his tracks. Pray for this grace. I will help you. A note is given to read Psalm 9, 9 through 10. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. January 31st, 2022. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, I come to you today to dictate to you this prayer which I desire you recite each morning at the beginning of your day. Heavenly Father, today I surrender to you my heart. Help me to be your instrument in the world. Cover me with the precious blood of your divine Son. Guard me against all evil. Protect me from any evil plan Satan may have for me today. Clothe me in your divine will. Amen. This prayer is peace-giving if you mean what you say in your heart. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 6, 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having fastened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, 
and having shod your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Besides all these, taking the shield of faith, with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. 